like if if anyone tells me that I'm fat, it's not it's, I'm not fat. I'm just different body structure. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Slayers, they're out here. Hello everyone, my name is Radoslav Poyapunov. I am from Sofia. Hello everyone, my name is Radoslav Poyapunov. I am from Roslok, Bulgaria, and I was born on June 19, 1997. My family currently lives in Sofia, Bulgaria, and that's where I actually grew up. I grew up in Sofia, Bulgaria. I was just born in Roslok. I have a sister, she's 14 years old, she's 10 years younger than me and she is a volleyball player as well. Fun fact about me, I was a swimmer before I was a volleyball player. I swam from the age of, I don't know, until I was 13 years old. I don't know when, how young I was when I started swimming. Uh, something about my family, they actually all of them played volleyball, but until high school or college level, none of them went pro. First one trying here. My first club was at Tesca Sofia, it's in Sofia, Bulgaria. I started playing volleyball when I was 11 years old and I, that's the first club I've joined and for my whole career in Bulgaria I've been there. When I was 19 years old after I graduated high school I decided to go to the United States of America and join the University of Hawaii at Manoa. I think that was a huge step for me because I personally think education is very important so America was the only place that offered both high quality education and high level of volleyball so I decided, applied in my senior year in high school and I joined the university in September of 2016. I graduated in five years. I graduated with bachelor degree in marketing, a certificate in international business and certificate Russian language, my last year, I took my master's degree. So over the years there we broke many records, we did a lot of things. And I have one national championship, it's actually my fifth year, my last year, we took the championship. And that was my last game for a while, and I finished as a win. First of all, I have huge respect for Serbian volleyball. There's a lot of amazing players that came out of the Serbian league, and I, and I think it would have been a good step for me to grow as a player and I know Vorina is one of the best teams and I know that from my coach and my friend Milan Jarkovic he told me a lot about Vorina and that uh, I expect a lot from myself from this team because they are ranking champions, they are defending champions so it's expected a lot from us and everyone is, everybody wants to, to beat us, to win against us so uh, we need to play on our highest and our best all the time. I think it's a high level organization. The, I, the, the way the club is structured is probably one of the best in the world with about volleyball. Mm. Everyone I think is doing perfectly their job, everyone knows what their job is and I think that's why this machine is working so smoothly. I personally think in order for one thing to be good, it's not about the superstars, I think it's about the connection that the players have with each other and of course everybody must be working hard and having the same goal and same target at the end which is the championship. Personally for me the most important thing on the court is winning. I personally don't care about my personal performance as long as my team wins. I mean everybody remembers the champion, not the individual award, so that's my kind of kind of my motto. It comes on the in terms of volleyball. I do believe that People should put their personal needs on the side and put the team's needs above everything else. I, I have three options, it's hit, hit and hit. I don't tip and when I tip it's because I can hit. It's not because I don't know how to tip, it's just I don't, I don't tip, never, no. No, let me tell you this, I hit every ball that there is. And when I hit in the net, it's because I chose to hit in the net, it's not because I missed the ball. What I love of the court. There's three things I love of the court. First is coming to the beach. <laughs> it reminds me of Hawaii. Second thing is watching movies. I usually go to the cinemas. I'm a huge fan of Marvel and DC and just comics in general. I'm a big on fantasizing. I like to imagine things. And the third is reading books at home. Best friend on the team. 
I want to say best friend, but I have close friends. Probably talking about uh, Andrei Vilimanovic, David Mehic, Rafa, Rudic, just everyone I would say I'm pretty close with. Who's my roommate? Alexander Bosniak, the greatest middle blocker. <laughs> yeah, Rafa, mostly Rafa, but lately I've been with uh, uh, Bosniak as well. I think I have a. I'm very adaptive person. I think you can put me in any kind of environment and just give me some time and I think I adapt. Adapt to people, situations and then just everything in general. I think that's a very good quality. I'm trying to be friends with everyone and just trying to have fun and enjoy everything around me. Bad thing about me is just... Uh, even though I studied a lot, I don't like study. <laughs> Actually, I did not like going to school whatsoever. But it's a good thing that I did. Another bad thing about me is that um, check it out, Musimo. Definitely having problems with the food. <laughs> That's why I'm fat. It's because I need to hit the ball. It's I'm in mean, perfect physical condition whatsoever. My biggest support, I think, definitely is my family. Uh, my father, my mom, my sister, they've been trying to watch and I think they watch almost every game. And they've been next to me since I started my career and I love them so much and I'm thankful for their giving me. They gave me these great opportunities to travel around the world and they've always supported me, which I'm thankful for. And just basically, I think my friends, I'm generally just a happy person. Tô, tô.